Stay safe, Nate. Joining me now is Texas Congressman Keith Self, a member of the House Veterans Affairs and Foreign Affairs Committees. He's a retired Army Special Forces Lieutenant Colonel as well. Congressman, thanks very much for being here this morning. Your reaction? Uh, Israel is serious about this. I will tell you, they have got to move the Hezbollah uh, north of the Tani River, which is the UNIFIL, the UN organization, has supposed to been doing for all these years. But Iran is uh, simply trying to make a statement to protect their proxies, uh, the Houthis, the Hamas, and the Hezbollah, because Israel is serious about dismantling the immediate dangers around them, uh, which are uh, the ones in Lebanon, Gaza, and now we hear from the West Bank in this report we just heard. Well, I mean, what kind of a response would you expect from Israel to this stream of uh, rockets firing into Israel last night? Well, I expect it to be strong. Now, there's three potential targets, uh, oil, uh, infrastructure, uh, the uh, nuclear weapons. I don't think they will go after them yet, or obviously the launcher facilities. I would expect something against the launch facilities and the oil infrastructure, because uh, under Donald Trump, Iran was basically broke. Uh, they now have close to $100 billion in reserve. So if you want to neuter Iran, in the near term, take out some of their oil, either uh, port facilities or, or pumping facilities. So I expect one of those two, either oil or launch uh, sites. Well, Congressman, uh, President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris claimed that they were monitoring the attack from the Situation Room with their national security team. Here's what Harris and former President Trump had to say about Iran's attack. Watch. I will always ensure Israel has the ability to defend itself against Iran and Iran-backed terrorist militias. My commitment to the security of Israel is unwavering. And let us be clear, Iran is not only a threat to Israel, Iran is also a threat to American personnel in the region. They are very close to global catastrophe. We have a non-existent president and a non-existent vice president who should be in charge, but nobody knows what's going on. That's why Israel was under attack just a little while ago, because they don't respect our country anymore. The two incompetent people running our country are leading us to uh, the brink of World War III, a war like no other. This is what the policies of weakness and appeasement have brought to the world. So, Congressman, Kamala Harris there just saying that she's got unwavering support for Israel except when the Biden-Harris administration decides to hold back weapons that Israel needs in the middle of the fight of its life. Uh, what are we supposed to believe here? You know, we saw several senators send a letter to President Biden a month ago demanding that he stop this embargo of stopping uh, critical weaponry to going to Israel. And now we hear from Kamala Harris she's unwavering. Where's this unwavering? That's not uh, ironclad. Well, Believe their actions, not their words. They have been slow rolling support to Israel now for months since October 7th attack. So believe their actions, don't believe their words. In fact, there was absolutely no enthusiasm. There was absolutely no commitment. Those were rote words that she was saying. Uh, I didn't even believe it as she was saying it because it didn't sound like she believed her own words. Well, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is being slammed for publishing this op-ed on the same day as Iran's attack on Israel, touting the Biden-Harris administration's foreign policy record. Blinken writes this, the Biden administration's strategy has put the United States in a much stronger geopolitical position today than it was four years ago. What do you think he's talking about, Congressman? That is absolutely laughable, Maria. The, ever since the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan three years ago, the world has been laughing at us, laughing at the Biden-Harris administration and testing us in every way possible. That's why Israel is having to do this, because people don't believe the Biden-Harris administration uh, is strong enough to even speak the words, peace through strength. I mean, uh, we, we have all... allowed our... We all watched Down. that. We all watched that botched Afghanistan withdrawal. I mean, is is John Kerry uh, misinformed, inept, or living under a rock, or what? I mean, how does he see things so differently than so many of us uh, are watching what has taken place in the last four years to America's strength and perception across the world? I'll just give you the bottom line. Don't believe a single thing that John Kerry says when he comes before the Foreign Affairs Committee. 
you can't believe a word he says in testimony. Uh, uh, he has a different view than Americans, Maria. Well, I mean, isn't that a felony to lie under oath? <laughs> It is, but frankly, for the Biden-Harris administration, uh, lying under oath or any other law that we have on the books is meaningless. Wow. Congressman, thank you. We'll be watching. I mean, what are you supposed to think about America if this is the answers that we're getting? Lying under oath is just don't believe a word he says. Keith South, thank you, sir. We'll keep watching all of this. Stay